So Dr. Amar Dogar, who is also an orthopedic surgeon from the Gurki Trust Hospital and a spine surgeon from Lahore, Pakistan, will be joining us. And he will be talking about placement of percutaneous pedicle screws. Dr. Amar, can you please go ahead and do the slide share? Yes, please. I hope you can all see my slideshow. Yes, we can. Okay. So I am Dr. Amar Dogar and I'm working as an orthopedic and spine surgeon at Khurki Trust Teaching Hospital. And the topic of my discussion will be uh, percutaneous pedicle screw fixation. So the objectives of my talk are uh, to tell you about the indications and techniques of percutaneous pedicle screw fixation and to know the limitations of this technique. Coming to the history, internal spinal fixation at the time of fusion was first described by Tony in 1943 and King in 1944. First pedicle screws were used in 1959 by Bauscher. Roy and Camille then first used pedicle screws being connected to a dorsal plate. The first system using both screws and hooks connecting them with the rod were used by Quattrell and Debussy. The anatomy of a typical vertebra consists of the anterior column as well as the posterior column. So the anterior column consists of the vertebral body, which is connected by a pedicle to the spinous process and then the lamina. From the lateral view, we have the vertebral body at the front and then the transverse process, the spinous process, and we can also appreciate the superior articular process as well as the inferior articular process. Now the pedicle is a strong bridge between the anterior and the posterior columns. It has a strong shell of cortical bone and a core of cancellous bone. We should be familiar with three terminologies to place a pedicle screw. The first one is the transverse pedicle width. This is important to know about the size of the screw. Then we have the transverse pedicle angle. This is important for us to know about the medial and lateral trajectory that we can have. And then we have the sagittal pedicle angle. This is important for our cranial as well as caudal trajectory. The widest part pedicles are at L5 and the narrowest are at T5 in the horizontal plane. The widest pedicles in the sagittal plane are at T11 and the narrowest are at T1. This slide shows angles for freehand pedicle screw instrumentation. And you can very well appreciate that different angles in the sagittal and the transverse plane are shown vertebra by vertebra for freehand pedicle screw instrumentation. For placing the percutaneous pedicle screws, pre-operative assessment is important and we need to have a high quality anteroposterior and lateral radiographs of the lumbar and thoracic spine, as well as an axial CT at the level of the pedicle. The minimally invasive 
percutaneous pedicle screw placement was first described by Magrell in 1977. Newer sophisticated techniques were introduced by Foley in 2002. Over the passage of time, newer advances have taken place and we now have fluoroscopic navigation, city navigation and robotics. And these all gives us the advantages of less blood loss, less post-operative pain, less muscle dissection and post-operative weakness, shorter hospital stay, as well as early mobilization. So coming to the technique of placing a percutaneous medical screw, you can all very well appreciate this radiograph showing a fractured vertebra. This is L3 vertebra and uh, ideally we should have a CT scan as well to classify but this was an A4 fracture of the L3 vertebra. Hello. Coming to the markings, we have these horizontal lines. These are marked under the image intensifier guidance and this marks the pedicle level. This central line is over the spinous process. This line is over the pedicle and this dotted line which is 4 cm lateral to the mid line is marked as our starting point. Now this slide is very important. You can appreciate AP view of the spine and these three points, the red dotted points are important, the A, B and C points. Now the A point is the lateral edge of the pedicle, the B point is the middle of the pedicle, whereas the C point is the medial edge of the pedicle. We have to start at the A point, which is the lateral end of the pedicle. Under the image intensifier guide, we start through this point and place the trocar here. We insert up to point B and stop here. Then we have to see the lateral view. If on AP view we are at point B and on the lateral view our trocar is beyond the pedicle and into the body, this means that we are fine. But if due to any reason we are at point B and still our trocar is not at point, uh, is not in the body on the lateral view, then we need to rethink because we might be in the canal, which can be dangerous. Here you can appreciate that uh, afterwards we can move it from B to C as we confirmed on the lateral view. Afterwards, we are going to replace the trocar. Uh, we are going to place a guide wire and then place a tube over it. Then we are going to tap over the guide wire. We have, have to tap up to the mid half of the body. We are not going to go beyond this because afterwards our wire will become loose and it may be retracted with this tap and uh, placing a wire will be difficult the next time. So in this image you can see that after tapping we can insert the screw of the desired length. This is the AP view and here we can see that the screw has been placed. 
there are now this is the post uh, operative picture at the end of the surgery and uh, you can see six screws placed three on either side this is at the end of the surgery the lateral view and uh, the rod has been placed and the innies have been tightened and you can appreciate that the fractured vertebra has somewhat maintained its height this is the ap view and you can see the placement of the screws as well as the rods this is the picture at the end of the surgery and uh, only one stitch is required for closure of each wound each wound is 1.5 one to 1.5 cm now the agents of this surgery are fluoroscopy neuro monitoring as well as the ct navigation but these are not mandatory this is a paper that was published in asian spine journal in february 2016 and it was on percutaneous transpedicular fixation the technical tips and pitfalls of sextant and pathfinder and it concluded that fluoroscopy guided percutaneous pedicular screws are feasible and can be safely done the advantages of this were told by a paper which was published in clinical uh, journal of neurosurgery in 2015 and the results of this meta analysis was that percutaneous approach was associated with a shorter operative duration and hospital stay and it also had reduced intraoperative blood loss as well as the infection rates now we have advantages but also there are few complications associated with this technique these are the intraoperative complications the early post operative complications and the late post operative complications the intraoperative complications are the guide wire rupture the abdominal aortic injury and the cerebro spinal fluid leakage the early post operative complications are the medial or lateral wall fracture of pedicle by mal positioning of the screw or combined medial and lateral wall fracture or poor reduction of the vertebra late post operative complications are screw breakage plug screw fall off connecting rod loosening infection this slide shows the classification of the pedicle violation in grade 1 the pedicle is replaced by the screw in grade 2 less than 2 mm of the cortex is breached and in grade 3 more than 2 mm of the cortex is breached this slide also shows the uh, grading so this is the complication that i was telling you before the guide wire breakage if there is a breakage of a guide wire then it is very difficult to remove it so we can put the screw over it and leave the guide wire as such we can also have poor reduction to counter this we can put a screw in the fractured vertebra as well screw breakage is comparatively a late complication as these are cannulated screws so there are chances of screw breakage there can be plug loosening this can be uh, occurring at the time of surgery or later on due to infection or loosening and then 
as with every kind of surgery we can have infection and screw loosening in this picture you can see that there this is a local kind of infection and this ct scan shows the loosening of the screws so coming to the end of the talk the message is that percutaneous pedicle screw fixation is a valid and beneficial option but it needs a steep learning curve as was told by previous speakers thank you all dr anila you are muted uh, thank you dr amar it was a wonderful uh, talk